Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and I am on my new character in Rift, and as you can see I'm in the starting zone and everything's going to hell, but I've gotten a few levels and it's time to customize my UI a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. First thing you want to do is go to Settings, Interface, um, Action Bars, and you want to set it to display two bars, and I'm going to add one bar on the right hand side as well, and hit Apply. And my mouse is dying, so I should probably plug that in very quickly. Uh, if I can find the cord, there's the cord. Okay, mouse is plugged in. All right, so we have turned on those two options, and that gave us an additional bar here and an additional bar here. Now, if you hit Escape, you can go to Edit Layout, and you get this whole thing. And it can be a bit overwhelming at first if you don't really know what you're looking at, but... Uh, so you basically have your action bars and you can scale it. I'm going to make mine a little smaller because I don't need an action bar that big. Uh, you have your chat box that I should be able to move around. Yeah, we have our icons here. So I'm just going to move this around the way I see fit. Um, didn't mean to hit escape. Edit layout. Move this around the way I like it. So my pet bar, I want down here. So I'm going to detach this from the other action bars. Change the scale with my mouse wheel. And just slap it right on top of my second ability bar. I'm going to lower the scale on this bar on the right. Uh, my tip alert, I'm going to put over here on the left, just above my chat box. I can move my portrait down from the right and add it in right here. So I can always see my health without having to look over my screen. And then all I can, all I have to do is move my pet's health bar right under it. Class mechanic player, I'm not too sure what that is, but we'll move it there. And then we'll move our icon tray to the top left and scale that down a little bit. And if I target myself, I can see the target frame. And I can see I want to put that right there to match my current frame. And of course, I'm not saying that this is how you have to configure your UI. I'm just showing you how customizable it actually is. Uh, they have said that they're not going to support downloads or support add-ons. So, I mean, I think this was a step in the right direction if you're going to just flat out say no add-ons. This is definitely a good way to approach it from there. And I'm just going to keep configuring this until I like the way it looks. Now keep in mind that most of this will go away. Uh, I'm going to move my group portrait up a little bit, move my buff bar away a little bit. You can even make that mini map bigger if you're having a hard time seeing it. These bars will disappear. My quest I have off to the right. I would like to see my war front and rift meter. We are going to add uh, somewhere around here, yes. And my achievement pop-up I want to see, so we'll make that really big and put it right in the middle. Target of target portrait, we are going to add next to our target portrait because that makes sense to do. Put it just above it. And target class mechanic, actually we'll put that above it and target of target we will put down here. So very simple to configure, as you can see, it's all click and drag. Uh, pretty intuitive and pretty simplistic. And I mean, in, in no time at all, I was able to customize my UI exactly the way I wanted it. So let's save it and you can see what that looks like. As you can see, most of those bars went away. If I was using more bars, I could configure that further. And now I have room to, let's say, move my buffs over here, move my pet over here because I won't be summoning him very often, move the dismiss up there. And that just clears out a lot of room on your bars that you really need. So, uh, thank you for watching. Just a really quick video about the user interface. And uh, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on.